week, but we have a lot of stuff coming up in the next few weeks too, so um, I'm glad that you all could be here this morning. Thank you for coming out. Um, we are excited to be here. We always love having events at Advanced Home Care. You guys always do a great job. So um, I'm going to turn it over to Kathy Cheek and let her say a few words. Sure. Um, thank you for having us this Absolutely. morning. Absolutely. Thank you all for making the drive to Wentworth, uh, even though our rates will address. Um, so I do appreciate you making the few minute trek out here to come visit us. Um, you came through our retail store, so if you have a minute before you're leaving, maybe you want to just browse around. We do actually have things you might be interested in um, <laughs> beyond just, you know, you're thinking oxygen and CPAP machines. Some of you may need CPAP machines. <laughs> what was that? A bedside commode? I got them. Got them. We are set up. Uh, walkers, canes, reachers. Um, but we do have some other kind of fun things and some things, you know, um, one of the things when you think about advanced home care is we do have that side of our business. We have what's called home medical equipment, and so we do carry those things. And we have things to help your home be safe. And a lot of you may be in what is called the sandwich generation, and you've got some aging parents. And you have a situation where you're like, oh my gosh, mom's not quite as safe at home as I want her to be. Maybe we're having some falls, we're getting trouble getting out of the tub, those kinds of things. So we do have some of those things that can be helpful um, if you have those needs. We'd love for you to come to shop at the store. Um, and you know, we also have those great, great lift chairs. Lynn, come in here. This is our retail store manager for um, the Reedsville store. This is Lynn Nugent. And okay. so Lynn is the expert on all this stuff. So lift chairs, a lot of people ask about those, you know, um, big, that kind of thing, because people don't all, they just assume insurance is going to pay. And unfortunately, insurance doesn't work like that. <laughs> so. Right. Yeah, insurance, um, the only insurance that will cover, um, and they have certain criteria, um, is Medicare. And they will only cover 80% of the lifting mechanism, which is around $360. Um, but we give a better deal with the lift chairs because if you do have a prescription or an order, we can knock off the tax and that saves a lot. And then we can do it to 15%. So if we do knock off the tax and do 15%, then of course you can't file to Medicare. So it all comes out to where the patient usually gets a six or $700 discount versus about 200. So, so an average cost of a lift chair would be? They start at seven and they can go up to 2,500. I mean, we have leather, heat, massage. We've got some nice All ones. All right, let's get one. <laughs> so we need one of those for y'all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Anything else you want to push for the store? Just we have other things besides walkers, wheelchairs, you know. Um, we have, uh, what's some things? Like the. Pill boxes, pill splitters. Yeah, exercise pedals, you know, if you want to sit. I've sold a lot of those, um, especially to the ladies in the back that sit at their desk all day. You can just exercise your feet. It's like a little pedal thing. Um, I do know we carry those. Just any knickknack <laughs> stuff, you know, besides yeah. walkers, wheelchairs, and stuff. We've got a lot of stuff if y'all want to stop up there and look around. Yeah, thank you, Lynn. You're thank welcome. You. You're welcome. So that's one side of our business. We also have another, we're kind of a three-pronged company, okay? So we sell the all the home medical equipment, which includes oxygen, CPAPs, that kind of thing, and all the things Lynn mentioned. Then we also have a pharmacy. So you may have somebody that needs to have um, IV antibiotics. Um, my mom had them. She was in the hospital, and she had bronchiectasis and pneumonia, and she was in the hospital for a couple of weeks, but they were ready for her to go home, but she needed 21 days of antibiotics at home. We can do that. We have a pharmacy, a high, the highest level you can achieve in pharmacy standards is our pharmacy. It's the, what literally called the golden standard. It means it's the cleanest, safest environment, and that is in High Point, which is where our corporate headquarters are. And um, so we can do that. We can send you home um, with your IV antibiotics. You can have them at home, be at home. Also, my brother-in-law, you know, young guy, ended up with MRSA. Well, he came out of the hospital. He needed to be able to go to work. Still do IV antibiotics. 
You can go to work because there's this cool little thing called a ball, and it's like about this big. It could go in a pocket or something like that. It shrinks as the medicine goes into your body, so it becomes flat. So you can maneuver and do all you need to do even though you're working. So it's not necessarily just for, you know, senior adults. It can be for working folks who end up with those kind of situations that we all hope we don't ever have. Um, but we do have that capability of pharmacy. We also do tube feedings if you get to a point where you have somebody and that kind of thing. And then our other prong is home health. Um, and this particular branch, Reedsville, has been around. The, you may have remembered a company called Unified and Advanced Home Care ended up buying them. So this was the original Unified building. And um, some of our caseworkers and all that have been here since those days. So they've been around a long time. And um, what I wanna tell you about this particular branch that I think is just absolutely amazing is that number one, I would say all, 95% if not all of the clinicians, the therapists and the nurses that go out into the homes live in Rockingham County. I think that's a big plus. They understand us. You know, they're not from Greensboro. They're, they're from right here. They get it. They know people. They know the roads. You know, that kind of thing. Um, also, we have a five-star out of five patient satisfaction rating for this particular branch, which means folks like our people. You know, they're doing a good job. Um, another part of that is out of five stars, we are four and a half on... Um, how well our patients are doing, how much they improve after our services. That's really good, and that's the whole point. We want people to be able to be at home and get better, okay? We want them to go back to their previous level of independence and all those things. That's our goal, is to get you better so that you can live independently and be on your own. Um, so those are kind of the three-pronged aspects of our company. The other couple of things I wanted to mention about um, advanced home care, especially because, you know, you'll have choice when you're out there. There's lots of home care companies, lots of home medical equipment companies, but advanced home care is a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. We are owned by 13 health systems, including Cone and what was Moorhead, and UNC Rockingham has chosen to continue that relationship, which I'm very grateful for. Um, and so what that means is the hospital systems that are owners are like stockholders. So they are a percentage ownership of our company and each system has whatever amount they've chosen. And then at the end of the year, instead of our profits going back to somebody else or to true stockholders, they go back to those hospital systems and um, based on the percentage of their ownership. So we give back money of our profits like um, to Cone, which would include Annie Penn, um, I think year before it was over a million dollars. Wow. Um, and I don't know the figure for this last year for um, UNC Rockingham, which has a very small ownership, but it was about $57,000. So we're giving back to them. On top of that, for those owner health systems, when they have a patient in there who doesn't have insurance, we will provide charity care. In the triad alone last year, we gave almost $2 million worth of charity care that we will never be reimbursed for because that's the part of our company's business is we want to take care of folks. Um, so those to me are the things that maybe set us apart and make us different. Um, there are a lot of good companies out there doing this business, but I think that makes us special and I think it is a very unique thing for Rockingham County and that we have Rockingham folks. So um, just glad that you're here. Um, there's a little tray of goodies. I want you just a little goodie bag, a little chocolate, a little gum, a little mint to keep your day going. And then she um, had little samples. This is that BioFreeze stuff. I think y'all probably seen that. And then this is some awesome hand lotion. So we sell that here too. So just take some little goodies when you're going. And thank y'all again for coming all the way to Wentworth. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. Sure. You did a great job. Thank you for that's I learned a lot of things this morning. And I hope you all did as well. And geographically, um, how far out does advance go? I'm, I'm, for this the, particular branch, we divide it into branches. So we have like a Greensboro branch, a high point, Winston Salem, but Reedsville covers um, Caswell County, a lot of Caswell County, all of Rockingham County, and a little bit into northern Greensboro mm -hmm. at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
Um, as far as the company advanced? Oh, we're in five states. Okay. That's we're in five saying. states, okay. yes. So we, um, we're in Georgia, North Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee, and South Carolina. So we, we you know, have a pretty, pretty far reach. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're not a national company, you right. know, but, um, and our headquarters are right there in High Point. So, An example of a national company? Um, one big one, you probably see the commercials in the morning on morning television, WellCare, right. uh, Bayada, Emeticis, those are all national companies okay. that service all across the country. Thanks. Thank you. Sure. <coughs> all right, so um, we have lots of announcements this morning uh, due to the fact that we do not have a July coffee, so just a reminder that we don't, um, we don't have a July coffee, but we do... Um, have an ice cream social, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. We just wanted to say congratulations to our June member of the month, which is Powell Barefoot Agency, um, and they are actually our showcase sponsors this year, and we are really excited um, to have them, and uh, we are working towards that, but it looks like the dates are going to be Thursday and Friday, October 11th and 12th, so um, that is where we are, and we'll put out some more information on that very soon. Um, tomorrow is the June Cruise Inn, which is um, from 6 to 9, and we are really excited to have the Theater Guild there. They're going to be doing a sneak preview of their Beauty and the Beast show, um, and always you can come get your uh, cup of Bojangles sweet tea, and if you want to catch the, the show, they'll be there from 7 to 7.30. Um, movies on the Square, uh, that's at Market Square. They do one time a month. They do movies, and June uh, movie at dusk will be um, Godzilla versus Mothra, and be sure to bring your lawn chair um, because they do not provide chairs, but it's a good time. Uh, we've got a couple of ribbon cuttings coming up. Kona Ice, um, some of you may be familiar with Kona Ice food truck, the, um, and we have a new, uh, it's still part of Kona Ice, but it's Kona Ice of Rockingham, so we have a new food truck that is just for Rockingham, and so that, that um, ribbon cutting will be uh, Tuesday, June 19th at 12 p.m. at the Chamber. Um, and then also on Thursday, June 21st at 12 p.m., DM&E Tactical Ribbon, uh, Tactical Ribbon, Tactical, will be, there'll be their ribbon cutting. Um, and they are, if you're familiar with, um, a lot of you, if you've seen the Mall Street um, Lab School video that surfaced around Facebook, that share, was shared around Facebook, um, Officer Velasquez, which is the school resource officer that was featured in that video, um, this is his business, um, him and his wife. Um, they do conceal carry classes, and um, they just have several things that they do on the side. So, um, again, come out and see them. That's Thursday the 21st at 12 p.m. Our summer concert series is going to kick off also in June. So, for June, July, August, and September on the 4th Saturday, um, beginning at 6.30, we have um, the concert series. And so, June is going to be Trial by Fire, which is a Journey tribute band. So, um, if you guys like Journey or the 80s, uh, you may be interested in that and uh, the beer garden will be done by the chamber and we're looking for volunteers as always i think june is pretty good but july august and september is still open i have sent a doodle out um, to our board members and ambassadors but if you would like to participate with that let me know um, we'd love to have you um leadership rockingham we're really excited about that coming back um, that is going to start in september the deadline is july 13th that is something that um, the RCC Foundation and the Three Chambers of Commerce do together. It's a really great program. It started back in the 90s with seed money from Duke Energy, which was then Duke Power. But um, it is a really wonderful way to learn. There's several graduates actually in here, but there's several. So it's a really great way to learn about Rockingham County. We have um, a time where we learn about healthcare, education, government, um, nonprofits, um, and so. Um, law enforcement, uh, we'll go to the courthouse, uh, and so we, we do several tours, but we also have a facilitator that is really trying to train people in leadership and how to work with groups, and um, so the application is due by July 13th. If you're interested, um, you can see one of us or get it from us at the chamber. We'll be happy to email it to you. Um, July's movie on the square, a little Christmas in July. It's going to be Elf. So if, you have a, um, if your kids like that movie, that will be there. And again, bring your lawn chair for that. Um, we do not have coffee, as I mentioned. We will have the ice cream social. And this year, it's going to be a meet and greet. Um, and we are sending out the invitations, board members and ambassadors. You should all 
um, hear about this, but this is going to be um, meet your board members and meet your elected officials. So we're asking that as many of those folks be there as possible. Um, the, this is open. This is, this is one thing that we do every year so that families can be involved. So I want to be really clear because I think sometimes people get confused. This is open to all chamber members, all employees who work for the chamber member and their families. Um, it's catered by Sagebrush. It's done right there. We close down um, Gilmer Street and we go into Merrill Park. And so we have all of that area set up and inside the chamber. Um, and we really love it when people bring homemade ice cream. So um, <laughs> please sign up to bring your favorite homemade ice cream. That is the tradition. It's a long tradition with the chamber. Um, the summer concert series for July will be the Legacy Motown Review, which is a soul group. And that's on Saturday, July 28th. And again, we'll be doing the beer garden. Um, and last but not least, golf tournament. So our 26th annual uh, Golf for Rethel tournament is on Wednesday, August 15th at Plantation Golf Club. Um, and thanks to our sponsors, Hometown Auto Group and Rents Eden Oil. Um, but you will be hearing more about that as well. So um, as y'all are familiar, we kind of real busy in the, in the beginning of the year, and then we kind of have a little bit of a break where we're just doing those smaller events, and now we're getting geared up for the, well, we're getting geared up for um, the last half of the year, which will fast forward through golf tournament showcase and all the holiday stuff. So um, be looking for information. Please pay attention to your emails and be looking for some of those things to come out. Um, did I forget anything? I feel like, okay, that covers that. Does anybody have any announcements from the floor? Y'all got classes, events, things? Nobody? I do. It's, oh, yes ma'am. <laughs> we always have something going on. <laughs> I'm Kimmy Walsh and I'm from Child Evangelism Fellowship and June 23rd we've got the Children's Good News Spectacular happening at the Reedsville YMCA and this is the first time we've ever done a spectacular at the YMCA. There will be about five or six of these bouncy things inside the Y. Um, there will be games, there's going to be uh, popcorn and drinks and cotton candy and snow cones and all of this is free plus some free gifts for anybody. And so we just like to invite you all to come. Now the other side of that too is we still need some volunteers to help with that. So if you would like to uh, volunteer, we'd love to use you. And uh, I can tell you how to put in your application because we have to, and we need, but we need that by Sunday because we're gonna order you a t-shirt and we gotta do a background check because we're working with kids and we keep our kids safe. And so everybody who hands a kid a Coke has to have a background. And we're not apologizing for that. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what we've got to do. So I'd love to pass these out and take some and take them to your church or your business or wherever and invite children uh, to come. There will be uh, an opportunity for children to hear the gospel message because we are a Christian ministry and that's what we're about. But if people don't want to hear that, they don't have to do that. They can just come and have fun. And we just love on them. And... Uh, Love on each other, so that's that. Um, I will say, Child Evangelism Fellowship is a ministry whose uh, mission is to uh, evangelize and disciple children and establish them in a local church for Christian discipleship. Mm -hmm. And we do Bible clubs in public school, after school. And I'm saying that because we have three clubs in Rockingham County. There are 12 schools in Rockingham County where we do not have clubs. But we have principals in Rockingham County who have said, I want a club in my school. I want a club in my school. The only reason we don't have a club in that school is we don't have a church who's stepped up to adopt that club. And that we work through churches. Because in order to establish the children in the local church, we got to get the church into the school. And it's a wonderful opportunity for a church. So if your church would be interested in finding out how we can help you do outreach to children in school, we want to talk to you. In fact, one of the people, one of the principals who said she wants a, a uh, club is right here in Wentworth. And we don't have a church who stepped up to do that. So, But after today, we will. <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks. <coughs> and to come out, you don't have to be a child to come out and play. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the YMCA, uh -huh. if you've been to the gymnasium in the YMCA over the last 30 years, you sweat it. <laughs> because it's hot. Well, there's a new air That's conditioning right. <laughs> in the YMCA gymnasium, so you don't have to stay away because you're worried about getting too hot. 
And while I'm speaking, on behalf of Mount Jubilee Ministries, a nonprofit partnering with the adult special needs population, we have maxed out our camp population for this summer. We've got 24 adults, not quite maxed out, 20 gals. So we've got four girl slots. They'll come, but we need counselors. Um, there's always a need of volunteers within a camp, within any nonprofit. And we need um, the, the faith-based community to come alongside of us and, and help provide uh, counselors to work one-on-one -on -one with these special needs. I've been involved with the camp ministry for 15 plus years and it is, can be life-changing. So uh, I just encourage you, if you have any questions, you can look us up in the directory or you can uh, talk to me afterwards or whatever. But there again, just looking for the faith-based community to come alongside to, to volunteer. Getting a slower time of the year for a lot of other people, but I don't, I don't know that we even have something. The boys got stuck going. Really? No, I don't know. Well, I'm going to turn it back over to Miss yeah. Kathy because she has something she wants something she wants to give away. Excuse me. Okay. Chairs, you were talking about the leather. Yeah. Oh, no. leather yeah. 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 yeah, that's what I have for the door prize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We appreciate it. Yeah, we are, we are non-profit, just remember that. <laughs> Coming back next month. Well, your first winner is Kaylin Rowland. Kaylin, all right. Thank you. And your next winner is Alicia Parker. Yeah. There you go, girl. Thank you all. And, uh... Mike Cardis is our next winner. Yeah. Lots of grasshopper stuff for you there. I think it is. I think grasshopper Debbie Walsh. This is all of ours, grasshopper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is all grasshopper stuff. Jennifer Amos. And. All right. Well, thank you all again. Don't forget to take a little treat bag. Thank Please you. Do. And run around the store if you want to. All right. Don't forget, no coffee in July. If you want to, if you want to golf, see Kayla. And if you're interested in ice cream, social stick. Well, I put a card in All right, Facebook viewers, thanks for tuning in today to our June coffee. Uh, don't forget that we won't have one in July, but we will have the ice cream social. And so if you're interested in that, please let us know. Um, and stay tuned. We've got a lot going on in the next couple of weeks.